yo, 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 B Rock 681 here. What's happening, everybody? Just want to share some of the viewers out there. These are young ones that I bred for this year, 2021. I started late in the game only because 2020 was a rough year for everybody, not just me, for everybody. Um, starting off right here, well, on the left, this blue checker white flight. Both parents are red, red checkers. The father comes out of George Mandera, the hen is mine. That pigeon is his. I bred that for him. He's gonna come pick it up. The blue bars, my Gabby family. The blue checker. That pigeon right there, the blue checker has the shadow line with the human that I have. The silver right here comes out of uh, Saul's from the West Coast. And it has a slight, a quarter of it from George Mandera's uh, silver pen. I'll be putting this one, that one on the race team, and that one. That one George Mandera's getting. I had to put this cover on this cage because the hawks like to come hang on these cages when you have them out here. I just separated them from the parents. Locking feet all over the tray. And then if we take a look here, going to the young ones that I'm racing. Now, when I reached out to some of the guys in the club, a bunch of great guys, they told me, hey, Bobby, you haven't raised anything yet? I said, no. All right, we're going to gift you some babies. Tony Mendez was the first guy to give me some babies. Charlie gave me uh, some babies with my band, see bread. This is my team right here for 2021. There's only two old cocks in there. These are all the young ones for 2021. That one's from George Mandera, that dark checker. Uh, the older ones come from Tony. That older one right there, that smoky one, comes from Tony. Mixture. And I have some from uh, my buddy, Steve the Bat. This is my race team. That's an old bird right there. And I'll be adding some more young ones. But this is a starter kit right here. Remember, people, I had the problem with the uh, possum. Finally got my door built. Door comes down. I can lock it out right here. Can't get in. I bring it back up. There you go. That grizzle came from George Mandera. Two silvers. A splash came from Charlie. That blue checker right there with the wrap around around the head. Without me looking at the bands, I really can't tell you most of them. That one's from Charlie in the middle. That blue one. That one's from uh, George Mandera. So, a bunch of great guys that want to see me race. And I told them, I said, basically, I got a one-loft race here. I'll be testing out everybody's birds, including mine. See how they they perform with my style of flying, regiment, and the routine, daily routine that I do with them, I do it with all of them. None of them have special treatments. They all get the same, same coverage. Got my new landing, I mean, not new landing board, Refurbished landing board, my new screen up. The birds are loving it. Again, thanks to Tony, Charlie, George Mandera, and also Ponderosa Loft, new guy in the club. He also gifted me some birds. Forgot to mention him. I'm not gonna forget. He gave me the only white homer I have. White homer, beautiful, beautiful white homer. We'll see how he performs. And I also have a black, a solid black. From George Mandera. Put him also on the race team. The black one. Let's find the black one. Where's the black guy? Where's... Oh, there's the black one. Yeah. George Mandera. So I got a variety of everybody's birds in the in the loft, in the team. So this year, it's going to be interesting. I'm calling it... So it's my race team, but it's a one-loft race. 
And I told the guys at the end of the season, whichever bird performs the best gets uh, either champion bird, champion, uh, I get the champion loft or champion every speed. They're welcome to have the bird back or, or their pigeons back. Silver comes from George Mandera also as well. That other silver back there. So again, people, when you fly birds and you, you have a group of guys that really care about the sport right away, they understand your situation, you start breeding late. Those are the first young ones that I have right now out of the nest. And these guys were well ahead, way in advance than I was. So, again, lots of love from them guys and uh, lots of love to everybody out there. Let's keep them flying, help others participate, keep the hobby alive. Remember, please like, share, and subscribe. Dying or love. I will be showing everybody the, the improvements of these birds and see how they're coming along and see the birds are healthy exercising in the loft and that's about it stay tuned people i'm off of this